Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install plugins for your Spigot server in Minecraft 1.14.4. Now this video right here is the top 5 best plugins for 1.13.2, but uh, literally just planned out and next week there is our video going up for 1.14.4, so that's going to be here most likely when you get to this video, but nevertheless I have updated this list completely. We went through every single plugin to make sure they all do work on 1.14.4, and yeah, that's basically where you can find all of the best plugins for 114.4 is in the list in the description down below of the top five best plugins for bucket and spigot servers. Something worth noting is that all bucket plugins do work on spigot servers as well. They also work on all paper servers. So basically bucket plugins, spigot plugins, all work on spigot and paper servers. So go and check this list out for the best plugins on those and that'll work on all of those servers. We're actually going to be downloading some plugins from this list a little later, but first we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can actually set up Bucket or Spigot in one click and then add plugins to it very, very easily without having to download something like FileZilla or anything like that using their built-in FTP manager. It's an awesome system and you can check out Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown dot xyz slash apex for an incredible minecraft server that's quick and easy to set up nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into installing plugins on your server now i am assuming that you already have a server set up as you can see we have bucket server here and if we open that it's got all of this in it it's got a plugins folder it's got all of this stuff and this is actually i say it's a bucket server but we can see here that it's actually a spigot server so it's kind of, it's kind of misnamed really should really we should rename it to spigot server shouldn't we so yes we have a spigot server there Boom, and then we just running spigot 1.14.4.jar. We have our spigot.yml. So this is actually a spigot server here. But we do have plugins and all of that stuff as well. But I'm assuming you already have this set up. If you don't, you can check out the I at the top of your screen, and that will show you exactly how to set up a spigot server. And once you've got it set up, you should have a plugins folder. And if you do, we're ready to continue. So first, we need to download some plugins. So go to the second link down below, or third link down below, and it will take you here. This is basically our list of the top 10 plugins. We were talking about it at the beginning of the video. And before this video, we're going to install a few. We'll install a Essentials, that's always a fun one. We can install Shop GUI Plus. I like that one as well. Um, something that can be fun is MCMMO, and why not install Grief Prevention? We'll just catch them all, everyone. So let's go ahead and download Essentials X here. And we want to make sure that these are updated for 1.14.4, so we can see test in Minecraft versions 1.14.4. And then we'll go ahead and click the download now button there to go ahead and start the download. We want to do that again, shop GUI plus, as you can see it's 1.14.4, so we're going to go ahead and click download. And in the bottom left we can actually see that it is requiring us to keep shop GUI plus. It didn't with Essentials X because Essentials X downloads as a .zip file because we'll have to pull our plugins out of that zip file. However, shop GUI plus is requiring us to keep the file where Google Chrome is. And so as long as it has the plugin name in it and .jar at the end, you should be safe to go ahead and click keep. Now on Mozilla Firefox, it said that in the center of your screen. MCMMO, same thing. We know it's 1.14.4 compatible, but we can double check on tested Minecraft versions and then click download now. It'll then go ahead and ask us to keep the file on the bottom left whenever it is finished downloading. There we go. We can go ahead and click keep. And then last but not least, Greek Prevention is actually not updated. If we click on file here, we'll be able to see that it's not updated to 1.14.4, but it works on 1.14.4 without an update. So we can go ahead and download this file because we know it's going to work. We have personally tested it. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop, we have three things. We have Shop GUI+, Plus, we have MCMO, and we have Greek Prevention. Now those are all the jars we have, but we also have Essentials X here. If we double click on that, it will open up our zip file. Click on Essentials X there, and we can pull out everything we need. Now we need Essentials X. I'm gonna do Essentials Chat and Essentials Spawn as well, just because those are the three that I personally like. So now we're gonna go ahead and install all six of these plugins at the same time by just opening up our plugins folder here in our spigot server. If you don't have a plugins folder, if you don't have a server that can run plugins, you need to go get a server that can run plugins. Again, linked in the description down below, as well as at the eye at the top of your screen, you'll be able to find the tutorial on exactly how to do that. But now let's go ahead and double click on plugins and drag and drop these three plugins into our plugins folder. Now if we go back, double click on run.bat to start our server, we'll be able to get things started on up. And as you can see, this is officially a spigot server. It's an outdated spigot build now, but as you can see, it is recommending this update on spigot.org, which it wouldn't do if it wasn't a spigot server. So now we can go ahead and type in Minecraft. I'm gonna open up the Minecraft launcher. We are playing release 1.14.4, just so you can see there. I'll go ahead, start this up, and then over here we'll see the server start right on up as well. I'll show you how to see what plugins you have installed because, well, it's probably something you would like to know. Something else that is worth interesting, or not worth interesting, worth noting, is when this does start up, you'll actually have all of the libraries for your plugins create. So in here, we'll see all these folders create that involve all of these different plugins. And that's something that is really, really cool. 
I'm gonna go ahead and direct connect to the server and we can see the server is starting up over here. I'm sure we'll see all sorts of different things in regards to grief prevention and things like that here. As you can see, essential spawn, grief prevention, all that is over there. Now I'm gonna join this server off my local IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. I'm just gonna go ahead and join off of that. But first we wanna make sure it's done. As you can see right there, it says done. So if we join the server, it'll take us right on into it. Now you will need to opt yourself to be able to run this command. So come over to your console basically and type OP and then whatever your username is. In my case, opt and then Nick's games because that's my username. Now, assuming I'm not on my alt, which uh, I might be, am I? Yes, I am. So that means it's going to be op and then Nick King because I'm on my alt. But nevertheless, as you can see, we've now made myself a server operator and to check if your plugins are in game, just do slash plugins. So slash plugins, hit enter, and we'll be able to see them. We do have six plugins because we installed Shop GY Plus, MCMMO, Essentials, Essential Spawn, Repreventions, and Essentials Chat. If we come back over here to our spigot folder, as we can see, we have Essentials, Essentials Chat, Essentials Spawn, Creep Prevention, MCMMO, and Shop GUI Plus, as well as all of the different files. Really and truly, Essentials is three plugins, so it only generated one config file, as you can see. There's a bunch of files in there, but it created one folder. Creep Prevention created a folder, and MCMMO created a folder as well. Now we've tested these in game. We should be able to do like slash mining to see our mining skill. There it is. We can also do grief prevention, or sorry, not grief prevention, essentials by just being able to do slash spawn, for example. Essentials also allow us to do like slash GMC instead of having to type out slash game mode creative. And then last but not least, there is grief prevention. Essentials also gave us this kit when we joined in, by the way. But nevertheless, there's also grief prevention, which is going to be done with a golden shovel. So we type a golden shovel here be able to right click there, come over here, right click here, oh, well, there we go. Now we're creating a claim, right click there. Claim is too small, claim is too small. Boom. Let's see, come on, where's the claim perfect at? It's always kind of difficult to figure out exactly where a grief prevention claim needs to go because it's it has to be a certain area. Okay, so I adjusted my claim block, so now I can claim this area and we can actually take and like claim from there and then, I don't know, we'll claim to right here. So boom, there we go. Now we have these two big grief prevention claims and I don't think there's any denying that Greek Prevention is installed. So yeah, there you all have it. This is exactly how you can install Spigot plugins on your Spigot server in Minecraft 1.14.4. If you have any questions or if you want this spawn, you can go ahead and see the spawn right there in the console. There's the seed. Also, type it in game there. There's the seed. So yeah, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so, so much for watching and enjoy your awesome server with awesome new plugins on it. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out. Peace.